Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a review video on the NYX Cosmetics Total Control Drop Foundation. I am excited to give this a try. I've heard mixed reviews on it online, I believe. So we're gonna get into that in a minute. Before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up to show me that you like what I'm doing here on my channel. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So with that being said, let's jump into this. So on the side here it says, with just a few drops, our Total Control Foundation delivers sheer to full coverage and a velvety matte finish. Simply adjust the number of drops you use until the desired level of coverage is achieved. And then more drops equals more coverage. And then on the back here, it has this little like diagram thing. Here it says light is two plus drops, medium is three plus drops, and full coverage is four plus drops. Now, I did do a swatch on the back of my hand in the store. They had a couple open, and I wanted to, you know, test out the shades. In the store, they only had, I believe, nine shades available, but I'm on their website here, and they have a lot of shades. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, times one, two, three, four. So they have 24 shades, which is a great range, but in the store that I was in, they only had nine available. So I didn't have a lot to work with, so I went with the color beige. I'll show you guys here. So I don't think that like two drops of this foundation is going to do anything for your skin. I did not see the brush that you're supposed to apply this with. I know NYX came out with a brush for it. So here I have the Royal and Lang Nickel Complexion Brush for one side, and then I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender on the other, and we'll see which one we prefer. So this is the bottle. I really like the packaging. I really like kind of like the frosted glass look where it's, it just kind of blurs it to make it look super perfect and smooth. And like I said, this is in the color beige. So I'll give you guys a swatch test. Now it looks like a dropper foundation. That'd be exciting. So that's one drop. This is very watery. I did notice this in the store. This is a first impression, so I've never put it on my face. I just kind of did color testing. So there's the color there. And it feels very watery. It does look better in the natural light than it did in the store light. So we're gonna give this a whirl. This is definitely a tan color for me. Um, so one drop it is sheer coverage, but I mean it did kind of perfect my hands a little bit there So I am going to pin my hair back and we'll get started All right, so I am just going to drop onto my face and I'm going to blend From my face. I have a mirror kind of right on the side here So if you see me looking over there, it's so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take the product And I'll start with I don't want sheer coverage, so I'm gonna start with three drops on that side. And I'm gonna do this side of my face with the brush. We're gonna start there. All right. It might be an all right skin match. I have a couple imperfections. I've had a little bit of a rough skin a couple weeks, so we'll go from, we'll see how well this does. So I think three drops just there. My redness is still peeking through a bit in person here. I'm not sure if that's translating on camera, but I do have a little bit of a residue of a sunburn on my face here. And in person at least, it's poking through a little bit. I mean, I'm not picky about that because if I didn't have the sunburn, that wouldn't be poking through. But people who do have redness on their face naturally, that might not be a good sign. All right, so I'm gonna look in the monitor and compare side to side. So this side is clearly evened out more. Um, it did not cover up my redness. I have a little zip popping through down here. I still have a little bit of redness coming over here. It's already dropped down, which is nice, but that means that you don't have a lot of time to work with it. I do like the coverage of it. I would wear this level of coverage on like an everyday. And I thought using this brush was really, really simple to just kind of like buff it out. And if I'm gonna show you guys this brush. This brush was totally clean prior to me using it. And there's not a lot of product sitting on it, 
which means that the brush really didn't pick up a whole lot of product. Oh, I am now going to go in with a second layer. I'm going to do, oh no, poor brow. I'll have to fix him later. I'm putting on a fair amount. This is messy. I will say that. Okay. I put a lot on, so I'll go from here. So it is pretty full coverage now that I put that second layer on and I used a lot of product. Um, this redness is pretty much covered up. I mean, that's more like a scab, so that would be hard to cover up. Um, I'm going to get my brush and try to blend out some areas that I see need a little bit more. Overall though, it looks pretty good. There is still darkness under my eyes, but I didn't really go up into the inner portion of my eye with this brush. It's not really hugging onto any dry patches or anything, and I have crazy dry skin. I mean, a little bit here in this region, it's hugging into some fine lines, but I didn't pry my skin or anything like that today, so that also could be why. So, first impression is I like it so far. I'm gonna put it on with the Beauty Blender, but I feel like this foundation is not going to like the Beauty Blender. Oh, I let it go into my brow again. Oh my God. This is why I never do my eye makeup before my foundation. All right, so that was uh, a first layer of a fair amount of foundation. And I'm looking at my skin and the redness is still peeking through here. Um, I have this kind of like light patch of skin here where sometimes pigment doesn't really want to stick on it. It's especially noticeable in the summer. So that's poking through, which I can normally get covered up decently well. So that's still there. The darkness under my eyes, I kind of went into that area and it didn't do much to it. Um, so I'm going to put on a second layer just to be fair because there's two layers on this side even though I put a lot on the first layer. We also have to note that if you are using a beauty blender it is going to soak up the product. So that's most of it blended out. I flipped over my beauty blender to a clean side and I'm actually now trying to soak up some product because I just put too much on my skin. All right, so that's the second layer with the Beauty Blender. It definitely did give more coverage than I thought it would, considering how much product the Beauty Blender does soak up. Um, I'm looking at my skin. I actually prefer the Beauty Blender side with this. I'm gonna take this and see if I can, like this is pushing more product back onto my foundation. I mean, I definitely like the Beauty Blender just for blending out foundations in general. It's my favorite way to go. I really did like how this put the foundation on though. It was easier and it just blended out quicker. But if I'm being totally honest looking at my skin, I think I prefer this side a little bit more, a little bit more. My light patch right here is still just kind of shining through, but whatever. Maybe this foundation just doesn't want to stick to it. But overall, I'm impressed for a first impression. So I'm going to finish off my face and I will be right back. All right guys, so I'm back. I put on the rest of my makeup. I put my hair back down and I am ready to give you my first impressions on this product. So this foundation is definitely nice. I really do like it. It's very matte. It is very, like it feels matte. I didn't set it with any setting powder and like to the touch, like it feels like skin, but like there's no hydration to your skin like a little bit so if you're going for that matte look this is really really nice if you have extremely dry skin i have dry skin and it sits okay on me i'm used to foundation sitting a little bit odd on me but if you're someone where foundation will suck the life out of your skin this might not be the product for you 
but it's also it is like you know marketed and targeted as a velvet matte foundation so people with dry skin would tend to not necessarily go for this they would go for something a little bit more dewy or natural finish but people with uh, oily skin I think will really really like this the coverage is okay I think if you have a lot of acne you're still going to need to conceal like spot conceal any spots or blemishes you have so overall I am saying that this foundation is a Hey guys, so I wanted to do a really quick like in the car update. The light isn't the best. It's kind of sunset right now. I just got off work and so I just want to show you what this foundation is doing. So all around here has, you know, come off and it's rubbed off. My zit under here is totally peeking through. It's hugging all my fine lines. I don't know how well you guys can see it on this camera. But it is no bueno update for you guys because I know in the outro of the video I filmed I said that I did like it. It's not suited for dry skin but you know I do like it. So I'm kind of giving you guys a new outro for this video and saying that after wearing it for only I did my makeup around like 1 p.m. today and it's around 6 30 right now so only wearing it for five and a half hours. I am not impressed with this foundation. I am going to try adding the pigment drops in to other foundation and seeing if that helps build up the pigmentation of that foundation at all but my actual final thoughts are I don't like it I really it just it's not doing well the fact that it rubbed off here I'm not even oily I didn't even play with my face or anything today so that's just not a good sign I didn't set it with powder but it's supposed to be a matte foundation so I didn't think that was worth it and I normally don't set a lot of my you know day-to-day -day makeup I have dry skin so it just makes my skin look cakey and I do if I'm filming I set or if I'm wearing you know uh, foundations that are more dewy finished but for matte foundations I don't usually set my foundation so I'm just I'm not impressed with this foundation I will give it another go by adding it into other foundations to see if it increases the uh, pigmentation and the coverage but the uh, real outro for this video is that this is not something that I recommend buying. Alright guys, so that's the whole video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.